Hello guys and welcome back to another episode of the BMG Modding Tutorial Series and in this episode we're going to have a look at the cameras more specifically the external camera, the chase camera, the driver camera and the hood camera which is well all the standard vehicles have and yeah let's get started um, let's see what kind of uh, cameras we already have. I mean, we have the orbit cam. That's pretty obvious. We have external cam. We have the relative cam. We have the chase cam already here, but it's not really at the position we want. And yeah, the top down, but that's also standard. Okay, so we're going to start with the chase cam. Um, you can do this in the, the body, J-beam, and for that we just go into the camera chase section, just like that, and there are just a few parameters in here. First we have distance, and distance min. Distance is basically at what distance from the center point the camera will, will always be, and then distance min is how far it uh, would want to get when it's, it gets obstructed, so when it has to move closer. Then we have an offset, and that just basically offsets the camera from whatever center point it's aiming at. See, we don't want it to be like looking from down here. And then there also is a default rotation which just changes at what angle the camera will look at the car and last but not least we have a field of view which is I think standard at 65 alright let's go ahead and copy this there you go actually I could put the, the camera a little bit closer Yeah, there you go. And due to the default rotation being like negative yeah, 8 on the y axis, we're looking down at the car slightly, which is also, yeah, usually like the orbit cam. Uh, yeah, there it is. Next thing would be the external camera. I mean it's already working, but just like the JS camera, we can change some settings. For example, right now you can see it's focusing on the hood, which is obviously not what we want. We want it to be focused a little bit more on the center of the car. So yeah, it's actually pretty similar to the chase cam. We just change this to external and it doesn't have a default rotation because obviously the camera angle is always changing. Uh, here you can also set a distance and a minimal distance and the offset, yeah I can just keep the offset, maybe not not as high yeah now it's having its focus mode a little bit more on the center of the car yeah, I think that's also pretty easy. Okay, let's now go for the two other cameras, the hood camera and the driver camera. And those are internal cameras. And we also have a header, plus a type for the type of camera we're we're working with then XYZ for the position of the node. We will later have a node that represents the camera or where the camera is coming from. And then six more ID f IDs for nodes where the, that camera node is attached to. And then we can also do a that node 
a specific weight. Two is regular. And then first for the hood cam, we are going to change the collision ball false. Same with regular collision, collision, safe collision. Going to be off for the hood cam. And in here, yeah, it's just like a node. So we have type is hood. Then the positions where we we're down was zero. And an FOV of seven higher. And the dash cam, or no, the hood cam is usually placed around right here. You can see a little bit more behind. So, yeah, in this spot, roughly. So not directly on top here, because that would also make the hood clip into the camera view. So we go a little bit behind and a little bit up above. And the FOV on the hood cam is usually a little bit, a little bit wider. And now the nodes to connect it to. You just connect it to nodes that are around around the hood all right and now for the beams that connect the camera node to these other connection nodes we obviously need some what some beam spraying and damp values oh, wait and yeah we can already test that Right here, let's go. There you go, there's a hood cam. And you can see the node from the hood cam is right here. It will be placed usually in this position, a little bit above and behind the edge of, of the hood. And you can see those are the beams that connected to those three other nodes. Um, we do basically exactly the same thing for the driver camera. Although I found that most BMG vehicles use dash as the indication for the driver camera. You can put in driver here or dash. Doesn't add actually see no node right here is also called hood. Um, even if we put in dash here, the driver camera or the dash camera will still uh, show as driver for some reason. And yeah, and the driver camera, yeah, she has a little bit of a model of FOV. And we see also other nodes. And we also take different beam and damp values. Let's bring it, yeah, let's bring it this so we have a little bit more movement in the camera like a driver's head would always move around when driving a little bit um, the hood camera would uh, would not move around as much so actually we can make it a little bit more on the spring value there and we also give it collision and self collision So let's go in here, and there you can see, um, that's what I just, just said, even though you put in dash here, it would still show up as the driver camera, I don't know any specific reason for it, it's just that every single vehicle does that, as I know of, I haven't checked every single one, but the ones I looked at always use dash, and Obviously, when you're near the driver camera, the sounds will get muffled. Like, yeah, like you're in the interior of the vehicle. Right. Those are the four cameras 
that I also think most people use. I mean, what color cameras than those more would you ever do? Except for relative, maybe, but that's already given. Alright guys, thank you guys for watching today's episode. I hope you learned something new. And as one of my friends said, it's pretty close to Christmas. Only three more Spin G uploads left. So yeah, subscribe if you haven't already. Like if you liked, dislike if you didn't. And I'll see you guys again in the next video.